Hey everyone, welcome to JLEG3D. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been asking me, how do I make a mold of an object? And usually it's used for molds, like for clay molds, for making uh, you know, dishes, cups, etc. But uh, Shaper 3D makes this quite easy. And if you know what you're doing anyways. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually here to teach you to know, to know what you're doing. So that next time you don't even have to ask. Uh, but this time basically you make a simple square. Or rectangle and on one side and we are going to move it just to not lag up our iPad let's do by five inches in this case and then uh, we're going to extrude this by 10 make sure it's a new body all right and then we can adjust our parameters so for example, if we don't need that much of a cushion, it's easier to make. So, 7.5. All right, once we have what we want, double click on that plane so we can work with it. We're just going to offset our shape by, let's say, uh, 0.5 inches, so we have that frame, right? And then we can simply extrude this, um, and just to make it easier, let's make it a uh, transparent body so that we can actually see what we're working on. There we go. All right, now we go to the front plane, and we can kind of tell now how far we need to go so if we go here 3.75 yeah 0.5 that's 4.25 inches all right then we just replace the face of this one onto here and then union these two all right so we have our rectangle and all we have to do now is subtract from this thing this thing and guess what? Now we have a mold. And all we have to do, honestly, since our object is the same on both sides, if it was different, you would have to repeat the process. But since our object is the same on both sides, we simply transform mirror on this side. And now, all that's left for you to do, make sure you remember how much you move it. All this stuff for you to do, let's turn on section view, is the connecting joints. So 0.5, let's say, make it, let's make it a little bit bigger. One inch, and one inch. And you can add more if you really feel like it, but honestly two is enough. And then all you need at this point is a line across there and a line across there and then tools revolve this around this we can't see because of section view but just bear with me so tools revolve these circles turn off section view and now we have our circles right so tools union to our mold right and then we move this one back by 10 inches Gotta remember that. And we do tools subtract from this thing, this thing. And now, once we move this, make it with five this time, we have the holes that will line up our mold. And basically, it's done. Unless you're planning on 3D printing this, in which case, I would suggest that you make a. Uh, gap here or tolerance so basically if this circle is one inch right you would do one inch plus around 0.2 millimeters on each side make this just a little bit bigger so for example it's one inch we can we can even simply scale so transform scale this it goes directly to the center make it 1.02 that's 102 percent 
and that way once you 3d print it even if you have issues these will fit perfectly okay so let's go ahead and undo that and make sure we change colors just because you want to see how it looks and we have our finished mold and keep in mind that uh, not all geometries are perfect for molds and in some cases you might even have to do more than two so for example a three-part mold but that's already up to you up to your project if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to share with people who want to know if you have any questions feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more <laughs> all right i will see you guys in the next one bye bye here at Jay Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.